well, we knew this was coming. What if we want to go the other way and we want to find the scores or X values or percentiles? Well, that will mean that we're going to be using inverse norm. So right here, if you already know an area and you want to find an X value or percentile, we're going to be using inverse norm, left tail area, comma, mu, comma, sigma. All right. So let's look at this first problem. And I use the same means and standard deviations as the previous problem just for fun. All right, so we know that the mean right here is 2200. I want the score that cuts off the top 8%. Well, top 8% would be over here on the right. So I would shade an area of the tail that's 8%. And what I'm looking for is this X value, right? I don't know what the number is that cuts off the top 8%. Okay, according to my table, my decision matrix, I need to use inverse norm. And it says left tail area, comma, mu, comma, sigma, right? I'll show it to you. Left tail area, mu, and sigma. And again, the left is actually a little bit of a fake out. It's left for most calculators, but not all. So if I use the old calculator way, which is um, what most people use if they're gonna use a calculator, then I want the left tail area, the mu is 2200, the sigma is 200. I just need that area. It's not 0 0.08. What it is, is the complement of 0 0.08. It's 0.92. It's 1 minus 0 0.08. Right, so I can use 0.92. Now, if you're using a newer calculator, what you're doing here is a left one. Now, I could also use, if I have a newer calculator, I can use inverse norm, and I can actually use the 0.08 and say 2200, 200, but then I would put the word right in there because I'm going to the right. So either one of those should work, and of course StatCrunch doesn't have any of these troubles, it'll just tell us. So let me go to second distribution, number three. So I can say 0 0.92, 2200, 200, make sure you put those values in, do not leave them as zero and one. Right, this should be whatever it is for your problem. And I'll say left, enter, and I get 2,481. If I do it again, second distribution number three, and I say 0 0.08, and I go down here and I choose right. And again, not everybody has that option, but if you do, you can try that. You don't have to do both of them, just pick one. Right, there you go, see, 2481. In stat crunch, I would just type 2200 here, 200 here. Oh, I have to choose a standard. It's not a between one, right? So 2200 and 200. And I want to choose greater than and say, I don't know what the X value is, but I know I want it to be 0 0.08, enter. It should look like it looks on the page. That's why it's so, one of the many reasons it's so important for you to draw and shade that picture appropriately. So 2481. There you have it. And it said on the t page to give two decimal places. So we'll say it's 2481.01. Either one of these methods, any one of the three actually will work. You choose whatever is comfortable for you. All right, now, what about if the mean is 75 and then they want us to find the 83rd percentile. Let's think about that for a second. If you're in the 83rd percentile, that means that 83% of the people are below you. So that means I have to shade at least 75 because that would be the 50th percentile. Remember the median and the mean are the 50th percentile if it's a symmetric normal distribution. They're all one and the same. So I need 83% to be shaded. I have no idea where this falls. but That looks like I shaded about 83% and I'm looking for this score. So that would be inverse norm. That area is 0.83, right? 0.83, you wanna shade and label. So I'm labeling that curve right there. So it's 0.83, comma, and then the standard deviation in the mean, which was 75 and eight, sorry, mean and then the standard deviation. So mean goes first, standard deviation second. This one's one that's going to be the same in both calculators, no matter what you've got, because it's a left one. So inverse norm, 
point, oh, number three, point eight three, and then it was 75, eight, and left. So this one won't be the same in both calculators, and we get 82.63. In StatCrunch, you type 75 here, 8 here, and then you're thinking, I want it to be less than, but I want it to be 0.83. Enter. So I want that area to be 83%, and when I press Enter, it'll tell me the X value. See how the X value is inside the parentheses there? So it's giving me where that line falls. That line falls at 82.6. Again, always make sure that the picture matches what the picture looks like on your page and you won't go wrong. Well, as long as you have a correct picture. All right, next. Oh, another sneaky one. Oh, this is mean. All right, so we have the center right here at 80, right there. And they're telling us this region right here is 0.4175 and we're looking for this X value. So obviously it's going to be an inverse norm. The problem is I don't have this left tail area. I don't even have a right tail area. What I have is this section right here. Ah, but I know that this portion over here is 0 0.5 because that's the mean right there. See it? So since this is the mean in the center, then I know that's 50%. And I can add 0.4175 plus 0.5 is 0.9175. It's a sneaky problem. All right, so when I'm looking for that x value right here, I'm looking for this x, x would be inverse norm. I'm actually going to do it for this, um, the newer calculators first, and you guys can see what I'm doing. 0.9175 comma 80, 12, and right. See it? So if you have a new calculator, you can actually do this. You can just say, hey, 9175, 80, 12, and right. But if you have an older calculator, you don't have that option. So you're going to have to do, oh, and StatCrunch will work with this also. If you have the older calculator, you need this bit over here. You need this zone right there. Well, what would that be? That would be 1 minus 0.9175. Because if the red and the green zone together make 0.9175, then that pink zone is 1 minus 0.9175, which is 0 0.0825. Oh, and if you didn't believe me, there you go. See, it's 9175. All right, so this pink zone over here is 0 0.0825. So you can use that if you have an older calculator, and you'll just have to do 80 and 12, because it has to be the left tail area in an older calculator. In a newer calculator, you can do it this way, right? So this is a left one that you're doing right here. And of course, in StatCrunch, you don't have to worry about either one of them. All right, so inverse norm, let's see what we've got here. 0 0.0825, I say 80 and 12. Make sure you put the right numbers in there. A lot of people will know what they're doing and then they forget to put in the correct mean and standard deviation and then it doesn't work out for them. All right, so I'm just going to prove to you 0 0.9175 and if I go over here to the right and paste, both of them are the same. And notice, it, I mean, it should make logical sense to you. The answer we're getting is below the mean, which it should be, right? So that's a hint, right, that we're doing this right. In StatCrunch, of course, we're looking for the x value. So we'll leave it less than, don't put an x value in because we don't know what it is, but we'll say it's 0 0.9175, enter. Oop, and we got to pick a greater than, sorry. This didn't work out, 9175. See, and I could tell it wasn't right because it wasn't matching my graph. There we go, that matches my graph. See, or if I pick a less than, then I had to pick 0 0.0825, enter. That matches my graph also. That little bit shaded is that pink region that I shaded here. So pick a method, right? Either one will work. And you've got to get a number that makes logical sense based on the problem. So always check and make sure it's making logical sense. All right, the last one. All right, so the middle, 75%. Okay, so... 
we have two scores here and here. I know that the center is 180 and I'm looking for an X on the left and an X on the right. But I know that this middle is worth 75%. Now, this is easy in StatCrunch and it's easy in newer calculators. In StatCrunch, you just click between, tell it that the middle is 180, standard deviation is 12, and then you go over here and tell it 0 0.75 enter, and it'll find the two values. 166.1958, 193.80. Done. If you have a newer calculator, it's easy for you also. So in newer calculator, you can say inverse norm, you can say 0 0.75, 180, and 12, and choose center which is essentially what we're doing in StatCrunch. And it finds both those values. All right, so new calculator is easy. Let me write it down. New calculator and StatCrunch. So if you have a newer calculator, you can say um, inverse norm, 0 0.75, comma 180 and 12 and center. And it just tells you the numbers. It's 163 point, oh, I can't remember what they are now. 160, oh, 166 point, um, if you rounded two decimal places, that would actually round to two zero. 166.20 and 193.80. There they are. StatCrunch will give them to you that easily also. If you're on an older calculator, you have a bit more work ahead of you. So if you're on an older or if you're on a newer calculator or StatCrunch, you don't have to watch the rest of this. <laughs> but an older calculator, you have to pay attention. Okay, the middle is 0.75. So that means that I need to find these two tails, each of them. Okay, what's 1 minus 0.75? Let's go with that. 1 minus 0.75 is 0.25, right? So that means if 75% is in the middle, 25% is in the two tails, both of them. So that means each tail on its own is 0.25 divided by 2, which is 0.125. That's this tail over here and this tail over here. They're both 25 divided by 2, which is 0.125. And that's what we would use in inverse norm, the 0.125. Okay, so in an old calculator, this is what you'll have to do. You can use inverse norm. To find the one on the left, I can just say 0.125 and then say 180 and 12, no problem, because it automatically assumes the left. That'll get you the 166.2. Let me prove it to you. So if I grab second distribution, number three, 0.125, 180 and 12, and choose left. You, you don't have a choice on an old calculator. I do, because old calculators are automatically left. So you can see it's 166.1958, so 196. And then for the other one, you have to do all the area to the left of this value here. The area to the left of this value here is the 75 and the 125 put together. So what's 0.75 plus 0.125? See, it's 0.875. So that's what we would put in, 0.875, 180, and 12. And I'm getting that from taking 0.75 plus 0.125. It's the left tail area. It's the area to the left of the value you're looking for. So I have to put these two zones, this blue zone and this orange zone together. All right, so then if I grab inverse norm, number three, right, there it is, and I say 0.875 and leave everything else the same, right, because automatically those old calculators are left 
tailed, then it's 193.80. You can get there, but it's a lot more difficult than using StatCrunch or a newer calculator that has the center feature option.